Hey guys, welcome to another episode of LJ's Garage. Today we're changing out the Blendor actuator on, well we're changing out the little gear part of it, but we're changing it out on a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The problem and the reason why I'm doing it is actually because one side of the car is hotter than the other. So I have a feeling that this gear, which is a common fail issue on these, actually went bad. So the passenger side, luckily enough, is actually not too bad to change out. All you're gonna need is your little e-torx kit and a socket set or a 10 millimeter, eight millimeter or whatever it is. And that's all you really need. The rest of it's just removing the glove box and uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. And hopefully this is a part of my problem. Otherwise I just changed this for no reason and that's all right. But if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, comment button, all that good stuff. It's greatly appreciated. So let's get started. So what we're gonna first do is we're gonna just remove the glove box completely. Mine has been taken out a few times, but if yours hasn't been, there's gonna be these little connectors that are attached right here. But all you're gonna do is just give this a simple little squeeze to the side, and then this whole thing pivots out. But like I said, normally, right here, there's a cord that holds it, but if you accidentally let go of that cord, it'll go flying. After that, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get these guys right here. And like I said earlier, I think they're about eight millimeter. Mm, correction, they are seven millimeter. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is right in here, they're gonna be two T25 or so-ish Torx bits. And if you look down in there, you can't see nothing. But trust me, they're in there, so remove those. And after we've removed these two, we're just gonna go ahead and pop this cover off right here. And this should just be a couple clips that hold it in place. wiggle and then this guy just sits like that well let me take it out and if you look at it you can see where these clips are one two three four five Ugh. lost one so now that everything is out this should in theory just come on out you just gotta wiggle it a little bit you may have to pull these little tabs down at the bottom down. Not the most graceful, but Got it. And then you're gonna go ahead and disconnect this light. Ooh, it's kinda hot. Boom, boom. And then if you're lucky, everything should slide out. And that's out of the way. The fun part is gonna be putting this back together found my mystery clip though. All right, now, if you guys see where my finger is pointed, right there, this guy is your Blendor actuator. Here, let me point to it exactly, so you can see that guy right there, straight ahead. And to remove that, it's the same size as these, so T25. And if you want to, you can. I've seen people do this without, but you can remove this duct down here at the bottom in order to make it a little bit easier to get in and out. But it's up to you. If you can finesse it and you've got the right tools, it's just two of them holding it in. You can see one of them down at the bottom right there, but there's another one I think on the other top side, and we'll pull that out. If you're like me and you have a lot of tools, I've got this little handy dandy little stubby socket, and it works great. And just like that, I've pulled this out. And as you can see, mine looks pretty good, honestly. So it just slides on, just kind of make a note of what position it was in when you found it. And uh, put the new one in, reverse the steps. <sighs> Back to the drawing board for my air conditioning issues. So basically all I've done now is I went ahead and I opened this manually. So I took the gear off and then I just went in there and I turned it so that I opened up the uh, passenger side all the way to wide open on the cooling deck. 
and unfortunately that is not the source of my problem still got a couple other things going on so i'm going to put everything back together but if you guys learned something hit that like button subscribe button all that good stuff once again and i'll see you on the next one but good luck and happy air conditioning fixes.